Hey, what's up, everybody? You ever have one of those days where you look at your tank and the majority of the corals and fish are just doing great and growing? Well, today's update is going to cover one of those days. So come along with me and let's get to it. So as I stated in the opening, there are items in my tank, and like 95% of the tank is doing really well, uh, including some items that I noticed a substantial amount of growth in, and we'll cover that in this video. First starting off with this Fungia plate, as you can tell, there is green now in the tips, in the brown tips of the tentacles. In the three years I had this, I never really... The tentacles have always been brown. Since moving into this area, the fungia has reacted really well to it in that it's staying puffed up with water and now it's producing these tentacles with these green neon um, tips. So now that it is in this area, I'm really anxious to see what kind of growth and what color changes happen with this piece. Coming over to the Zoanthic Garden. The rastas are growing more polyps. The worldwide coral uh, pandoras are still four polyps, but the colors are really, really great. And I'm noticing more and more of these are starting to stretch upwards. So hopefully there'll be a lot more growth from this in, in the coming days and weeks. The main part of the zoanthic garden is really doing well. The cat's eyes and the fire and ice and these pink they look like almost cotton candy but um, a lot of these are really growing well to the point where the fire and ice over here uh, are going to have to be fragged out a little bit to allow more room for other things to grow in it the fabias themselves are really doing good this one is is definitely a slow growing coral but I noticed the outer walls where the neon green splashes are do get thicker as time progresses and they are stretching downward so it's going to be really interesting to see where this goes from here the night before christmas favi in the back is really doing well and stretching down further on this rock so i really am excited to see how this thing grows out and stretches down on the rock Another dramatic piece of growth is with the purple and gold and green candy cades. Finally, as you can see, a lot of the polyps are really, really large and extended to, and to the point where they are pinching off in certain areas and look like they're going to create new mouths and polyps. The chalices, the Hollywood Stunner Chalice is really doing well and it's, it's always a piece that I can know I can look to to see some growth on over the course of the days that I look at the tank. So it never disappoints. That, that coral is one that never disappoints. The purple digi and the red digi is really doing well. And um, as you can see, the, the purple digi is one that's going to be fragged up soon. And some of these pieces hopefully will be going because it's... The majority of the growth on the return tower is coming from this piece. And the neon green acro, the frog skin over here, I put the larger piece up here and you can see it's, it's reacting really well to the uh, increased light. And there is actually the, you can notice this first piece, the smaller one was the, put up here when I first got it and this one I just moved up here so you see more pronounced color from the one on the right that's always been there and I'm hoping that that color will spread to this one as well now this piece is starting to, is really is doing well as as the other one um, eventually if what I may do is move that also on the return tower if those two pieces do well there's more pieces of purple digi that have fallen off the tower. The red setosa. This one is one of the ones that are up for sale. Is really doing well and stretching out more. 
and the Satosa rock is is growing and showing more polyp extension. The Barney coral has started to show a lot more purple on the tips. So I'm really thrilled about that because when you see this piece uh, in all the pictures at, at full health, these tips are really deep purple. And I'm starting to get that in the back section and it's spreading to the front as well as um, the neon green at the base. I tried moving that just a little while ago to give it some more light because the Montipora cap, which is another piece that has shown dramatic growth, has stretched itself to the point where it's shading part of the Barney Coral. But when I tried to move it, that piece is now encrusted on that rock. Now moving downwards, the Acan Garden is really doing well and the pieces that uh, there have been people that have shown interest in um, a lot of the rainbow pieces. The green ones are doing well also, including this one here, which shockingly, when it opened up the other day, I noticed this orange tint near the mouth. So this, pre this piece is really shocking me as far as the color change is concerned. So I'm going to be growing that one out. The Micromusa, you can see the polyps have extended a lot. They used to be really, really tight and packed together. They are extending, and I can only, again, put this on the reefroids because they eat like crazy when that hits the water. And now they have gotten this green neon striping uh, on the wall of the mouth. So that's an impressive piece. The Blastos are doing really well, and the babies underneath are still there, but not growing to the point where they're coming out on their own. Just this week I noticed that the center polyps are really getting bigger than the other babies on the group, and this is starting to spread on this plug, so it's doing exactly what I want it to do. And we'll see where that goes next. The Acan Mortuensis is looking like, as you can see, that neon green piece over on the right hand side. Looks like it's getting ready to pop another mouth if the yellow tang would get out of the way. And uh, so that growth is really good. And I'm looking forward to, I'm looking really to see this thing start to get more polyps and hopefully spread out a little bit. Now onto the neon green candy cane. There's really something interesting that I noticed. And if you know what's going on with it, um, you can leave a comment below and just see if I'm right about this. My flow on the bottom, I've noticed, is going left to right, and the part of the coral that is taking the brunt of the flow, the polyps are really fat and have spread, whereas on the other side where the flow comes off and goes to the right, they're really close together and bunched up. So, that can only lead me to believe that as far this coral does like different kinds of flow, but as far as the the size of the polyp, if it's being hit with flow, it will be bigger than the part that is not being hit with that much flow. Now down here you got the rainbow acans that are doing really well. Some more babies are on that. This fungia plate is starting to show more color, where the mouth, as you can see now, is purple. And it has these little purple tips on the end of the tentacles. So I'm really looking to see this thing grow and see new colors being popped out on this disc. The red mushrooms, which accidentally fell when I hit it going after the powder blue tang, it's kind of a blessing in, dis in disguise because both polyps are reacting really well to being on the sand down here and are growing equally as, as large. You can see there's also another one back here that's growing pretty big. And maybe that was what they needed and hopefully they'll start splitting and more of them will come out to the point where I can start um, populating this rock. Coming across here, the birthday cake coral is showing a lot of, it's encrusting a lot right here onto this part of the rock and getting bigger and spreading out. On this side, it's starting to hit that section of the rock. There's not a lot of movement from the skirt anymore, so that's getting thicker and stronger. 
and more yellow eyes have popped out of it, which is really thrilling as far as seeing this thing starting to grow. Up here, the encrusting green Monty is really doing um, its job in that it's now starting to encrust. You can see that edge right there on the right bottom. It's starting to stick out off the rock and scoop underneath. So that coral is growing as well as since I've started refroids, the polyps on it have been huge. The experimental zoanthid um, up here, the, I believe they're Fiji fires, are really doing awesome in the, in the light and are growing rather well. The bird's nest is doing well in this section as well as the cat's paw coral. A lot of polyp extension on that. The Euphilia garden in general is doing really, really well. Some of these pieces are being looked at by people that, um, as you can tell by my last video, a lot of these have been put up for sale. And in preparation for that, I took this out of the frag tank, put it in here to color up. And I think, I believe, both these pieces are spoken for at this point. So there'll be an update coming soon. Uh, we will see the pieces that have been taken out of the tank and uh, just how, I'm not looking forward to it, but just how um, empty this section may be. But the reason for the sale is, is just to get in preparation of going to the bigger tank. Um, as you know, I'm going to try and go to 125 and I'm going to need funds for that. So what other way than take out some of the pieces that are extra in duplicates and, and sell them to people to give them a good home and also uh, I'll be able to afford the larger tank. Now before I started this video, the two torches up here that are looking really, really beat at this point um, were really, really full. The purple torch and the green uh, Worldwide Corals torches, they do well. This is just the time of the day. I just uh, lowered the lights a little bit and they're gonna suck in for a little bit. In about an hour, they'll be back out and as big as the green pink tip one. So, now, the Wilsoni is sucked in at this point. And again, this reacts to um, my lights as well. But in about an hour, that'll be full and the uh, tentacles will be out. You can see where the disc is, is it, there's no sand or debris on it. That's how big that piece gets. As far as anything that's <clears throat> negative in the tank, um, it's this section of the neon green frog skin. You can see if the powder blue gets out of the way, which we'll go into in a second. I do have some RTN, it looks like, on this piece. And this one I moved because I have the same thing happening here. But I'm hopeful that since I moved it up towards the light, like the pieces I have on the return tower, it'll repopulate and just start growing. This is my first acro, so, you know, I'm learning how they grow as much as anybody else. And worst case scenario, if that continues to be bleach out, I'll just snip the bleached end off and uh, just get a couple more frags and glue them in that area. So, as far as the fish are concerned, he's back in the tank. I put the powder blue back in the tank uh, because I didn't want to have him in that frag tank with the chance of uh, possibly losing him. The yellow tank is doing really well and the powder blue is still giving this guy a hard time. Not as much as he used to, but it's still there and that's why Again, I want a six foot tank to give them a little bit more room uh, between each other and also some more room to swim. So that's basically the update for today. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to, to put them down below. And uh, as always, uh, if you are not subscribed to the channel and like the content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications when uh, new videos come out. And as always, this is Scott, and I will see you next time around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.